Welcome to Season 1 Racing of Color Racing. Before we each off the race, I'd like to go over a bit of what color racing is. It is these 20 different color cars that I'm showing off right now. It's a total of 20 cars, of course, as I said. We're racing across 10 races on NR 2003, which is the most realistic game with the next game with the most realistic physics, probably. Not well, from 2003 or 2002. Games are weird. But how that points are going to work is first place is going to get 20 points, last place is going to get 1 point. Raise a tell, it just goes down by 1 for each position. You also get 3 lap, three points for leading a lap, and 3 points for leading the most laps. So basically a winner is guaranteed 23 points, and if they dominate they can get 26 points. That's to uh, help out car. that's more of just to uh, help cars who are leading races. Gives it more of a reason to do that. Even though the AI does not know that and just will race normally. So that's the 20 cars I showed up from Moon for like 0 seconds. Hopefully you choose one you like and can cheer for it. They all should have the same stats, so it's even between them. You know, sometimes it doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure they have the same stats. Unless racing affects their stats, then maybe they don't, but hopefully they do. That's all. Enjoy the race. Welcome to the first season of color racing, the first race of color racing also, for Daytona. This Daytona has been configured a bit to cause more crashes. More excitement, as navy and light gray are on the front row, followed by red and tan, maroon, brown, light blue, yellow, green, and white, black, magenta, dark gray, orange, flame, and white lime, purple, white, pink, and sign in blue in the back. They'll maybe it takes the checkered flag. Oh, wow. Apparently, checkered flag. It's the green flag. As the race is on. Now it's a pretty high chance they're gonna crash going to turn one, maybe exiting turn two. Nine percent chance to probably crash on first lap. Sometimes they make it through. Very rarely. But they like bump drafting a lot due to the changes, so they probably won't. And they almost made it through turn two, but Navy just decided to run into the thing, and green goes flying. And there's more wreckage still happening. More cars getting involved. That tired the that went along the entire back straight away. Crashed up turn two and are crashing still into turn three. And green did not have a fun time in that one. You can see here Tan to the outside and just spins like went to the wall. Well contact made, there it goes green across the track. Multiple guys swing from each other. Green went for quite the ride. And then Tan gets spun back out in front of others. You need to crash. So use the helicopter for this view. As there's Tan spinning like gray. Looks like they bounced at the wall and ran to red which pushed green out and green getting hit by flame just caused them to a lot of flips. A ton of flips. Most I've ever seen, probably. But their day is for sure done. Looks like there's a bit more contact right before that crash. It's black and dark gray, it seems like. Or flame. Yeah, that black flame was running so low on the track. Tons of cars involved. Hard to tell the entire amount. Science point of view is way in the back. I can't really see much, but this is really low to the ground. Nowhere to go, really, just wait for it to spin out right in front of them. And as for this pack right behind them, nothing for them to do, really, as cars are spinning in front of them. They just had nothing to do but get involved. Rack. Tough day for all of them. Barely any cars made it through there. Purple seems to be fine. Dark gray seems to be fine as they were brought down to the grass. I don't think they should have much damage. Navy and Maroon, of course, are fine as they uh, were in front of the pack. In fact, the only Navy and Maroon seem to be running normally. Or they were. Astonishing. Well, it looks like. Navy led that lap. So Navy is going to be the 
first lap leader. They were also lead under Yellow. Seems like all the cars here are gonna pitch. Here they come. Navy was the leader going into it. See who leads this lap if they're all on pit road. Still gonna be Navy. Navy's gonna get their second lap led of the day. And they are off pit road first. That was quite a quick stop though. Maroon's gonna have second, but he seems they're gonna be in third. Mantra's gonna take fourth, Science gonna be fifth, Blue is sixth, Black seventh, Magenta eighth, and Damaged Flame Card's gonna come ninth with a tan in tenth. A lot of other cards to be pairs to make. Not sure if they're all gonna come back to the track or not. Orange and green have already retired, no surprise there. Navy's gonna go ahead and lead the third lap of the race now. And possibly, and at least one more. Navy has led every lap so far. Only cards retired are orange and green from that accident. So the fact that there's so many cards were infected by it. Green is pretty obvious why. Don't recall seeing orange taking too much damage, but I don't even recall seeing orange ever, so. This is going to be the last lap. Maybe we'll get five laps led from this caution. Pretty good haul for them. Take a significant amount of laps leading by other cars for them to not get the most laps led. Especially if they stay out for a few more laps. Maroon has stayed up the entire time in second there. Light Pink put it up to third despite having a lot of damage. Which is going to be fourth and Science fifth. They'll likely have to pit again at some point. At least once. Hopefully they play the pit strategy right as I've seen lots of times in practice runs here at Daytona. Where cars pit towards the end and have to get the lead because they don't want him enough fuel. There's the race. Sign up there in the top five already after starting way in the back. Did a good job of mostly avoiding the wreck. Didn't take too much damage. Which is the front of the car. But there. Fine. Navy's gonna lead after the green as the pace car takes a hard left turn here. And Navy's gonna leave the patch of the green. No one else is gonna pit. We have Navy, Maroon, and Light Pink up front. A few cars fan out behind them. The top, looks like almost top 10, are all single file. And Tan is already sliding across the grass. And yellow's gonna spit out in front of lime and light gray. Look, that is gonna bring out the yellow already. And navy still has the lead. See what happens to tan. Seems as if white just got to the back of them and decided to spin them instead of push them. Next, it didn't take much damage at all, and the yellow came out immediately after, so they should be fine. Sounds probably a bit less fine, it's going to be these cars right here. This looks like yellow and brown came down on lime. I mean, nowhere to go. And yellow got shoved and got slammed by Lake Grey also. It looked like they came down on lime. Helicopter caught this in action. It seems like yellow got into the back of around there, which caused brown to turn down and also for yellow to turn down. And lime was just there and they couldn't do much about it, so. I was the wreck. Navy's probably got up this as they'll get quite a few more laps led from this caution as well. Apologize as I forgot this is the 2003 rule set. Of course, along the lines is I actually have to race back to the checkered flag to uh, to lead, and that was Maroon. He was able to do that. So Maroon is necessarily going to get a lot of laps led from this caution. That's the first lap led of the race, and the first lap not led by Navy of the race. And this is the some car is going to pit here. Like Navy's going to pit. Along with blue, black, cyan. In fact, everybody except for maroon and light pink is going to pit. And 
And here they come down. Of course, seems like... We're gonna load that lap. Looks like a navy just barely got spot. Since Moon and Pink are not gonna pit in this lap. Give Moon the third lap of the race. We are now gonna be nine laps into the race. And I'm gonna have to race for a full lap. The race to turn one. Two could get three times. So if you combine that together, maybe that's a full lap, but that like Ray is also a uh, half from the race. There's still so many cars left in this race at this point where they can easily just have a huge crash. Probably what's gonna happen. Won't be much racing in this one as way too many cars left. And Rune has only pitted once so far, if I remember correctly. They might hit here under this caution after leading a few laps. But there is still at least one more lap left to go before the race starts up again. We have to get the lead. Both them and Light Pink have only pitted once. They probably will need to pit again at least. They might try to stretch their uh, fuel so they will only pit one more time. Now of course sometimes it's less about fuel and more about trying to get better tires and whatnot. As that does not that usually doesn't matter much to Daytona though. Usually the entire pack will come in. Navy and Light Pink are indeed gonna go ahead and pit. We'll see who leads this lap. 117 is Navy and 118 is Maroon. See if Navy is mostly gonna lead this lap. Sheller, Navy is led that lap. Six lap led by a Navy. Maroon only the car lead laps with Maroon with three. Under caution. Maroon's luckily gonna come out before Light Pink does, but you never know. Could lose the spot here. And I think they actually will. Light Pink's gonna beat Maroon out of the pits. The last lap under caution. As they will come around onto green. Halfway through the race after this lap. This black up in second. Blue is ball closing in third with dark gray and red in the top five. All good runs for them so far. They can keep this space. But I do expect Maroon to be able to make their way back to the track as they seem to have a fast car here. But since they are in the back of the pack, they could easily get involved in a wreck. There's someone like Navy who is up in the front. Probably less a bit less likely to get involved unless the pack will be centered around the front. But with so many damaged cars, I'm assuming it's going to be centered around the back. There'll probably be like a few, like four or five cars. Maybe six up in the front. I'll break away from the rest. As the damaged cars won't be running as well, and they'll probably also form a pack. As long as Nate doesn't pit here for some odd reason, he was going to lead this lap. And the ace cars going to take a hard left turn. As if they're about to miss pit lane, they're like, oh shoot, crap, that was pit lane. Oh, did they not follow that line in? Navy, gonna lead the pack to green. There are still 17 cars in the race. Black already pulling up to the outside of Navy. Won't be able to do anything there. Honestly, Navy's gonna go into turn one with lead. And they're gonna make it through turn one and two this time. I don't really see anyone close up each other that much. They probably should unless something random happens. Maroon already got past Lime there. Black is currently trying to charge down Navy for the lead. Purple is going to go to the outside of Red, but no help. They're probably not going to be able to get anything happen there. Unless Cyan comes up behind them. And Tan gets turned down again. Are they going to come across the track again? And nope. There's, there. There's a huge gap now. Well, it seems to be like 7th to 8th as Blue got almost spun there, but saves it. And they're going to come across the track and get spun again! Testing Red, and they are going to go flying across the track, doing a lot of flips here. And they're getting hit by Tan and Brown. I don't know what they were doing there, but they were not avoiding the crash. 
Things gonna spin out ten now again. Their ten ten's been spun out by this point. And a one seventeen, which I believe should be Navy, leads that lap. In the blue. Okay, such a good run out front. Their day is absolutely done. There's no way they're not done. Oh, let's look from the helicopter. It all came off out of turn four, it looks like. Dark Grey got underneath them, it almost spun them out. Blue comes across the track, back up, but Dark Grey's there again, and this time they get spun to the wall, shoved out, get hit by red, and start flipping across the track. That was already a big ride, but here comes Tan, and Light Pink, and Brown, all hitting him, causing him to go flipping even more. I don't know what they were doing and why they weren't getting out of the way. Some of the cockpit of Tan. Okay, something. You can see the car flipping. I don't know if he was bumped or something before that until he pulled out a line or something there, but it looks like he was just trying to find and follow the draft of Brown and whatnot. And just never really moved to get out of the way. And then he would then be later be spun by a light pink. <laughs> Not many cars involved, but I would say, I mean, actually it was a decent amount, but... It's the view from the front of Dark Grey. Cliff Blue there. Looks across the track, kind of slows them in front of him. And this corrects Blue. And there goes Blue behind him. Oh, looks like they're gonna hit the catch fence there. But they never did. Now your leader is currently Navy. Who is gonna pit here? Only a few cars will I pit here, especially ones with the damage. I assume Blue's Day is absolutely done. Tans might be, but Science gonna pit here. Maybe some leads left for sure. And here comes the cars on pit lane. Looks like Cyan. Behind them looks like dark gray, magenta. Looks like maroon, orange, brown, and tan. All gonna pit. Those in the pit as well, but <coughs> she gets from there. They're already probably retired. Sign already pulled out of their pit, so they're just going for a quick pit. We're just filling up on fuel. Because black. Cyan's gonna like lead off it. Oh, and yep, Tan's day is done. Got spun three times, involved in a few wrecks, and didn't last much longer than that. Meanwhile, your leader though, Navy, probably enjoying this. They led yet another lap. Ninth lap led. Well, at least clinch the tie with one more lap led. Only two cars so far have led laps. Most likely because the cars keep crashing behind them. And Black has so far been unable to get around Navy. We're gonna have a few cars playing this lap, including Black. Yellow, maybe purple also, but definitely black. Navy's gonna get another lap lead for sure here. There goes yellow though. Purple's gonna stay out in here at second. Arun is moving up the ranks now after putting a lot of cars here. And two more cars going to pit build. Give them two more spots. Nice 10 left lead. They've flinched the fact that they're gonna at least tie for it. Most less lead, which will basically they've flinched three points. Brown, tan, and blue are we tied for that incident there. And see if Navy's gonna pit here, which should give what's behind the lead. It's gonna be purple. Purple hasn't pit in a little while, and white and lime are also gonna pit. Purple should lead this lap then, number 108. Indeed, they will. I mean, I still point all purple. Not as big as it would be if it was a. With a lot less cars here, it would definitely be worth it staying out, but given by the fact there's still quite a few cars in the lead lap and on the track, I'm sure it's worth it to do that. And there's hard left turn from the pace car. Purple's in the lead currently. Might need to pet again along with the red. Lightland and Cyan, I believe Maroon and Bax is okay, but maybe Cyan as well. They go to green. We're below the second lap of the race. 
Look for a navy and maroon W going towards the front. Light pink is trying to get her out of the flame back there. And they're gonna fan out three wide. We're gonna turn three. Light blue. They're trying to get around red as well as cyan and Oh crash behind the back! It involves tan! Their day might be done here, or at least significantly harmed here. And it looks like red's gonna also get spun out. Almost. Maybe not. We got lucky. Purple's gonna lead the lap though. They'll replay in a sec. And it's indeed, yes, a caution, but purple is gonna likely lead this lap. Red's already gonna go pit. Rolling the tires maroon for the second most laps led. Helicopter got a preview of this. A damaged flame gets Davy gets into them. They just kind of spin into the wall. Lime with a nice avoidance there, but pink flame and navy all involved in that one. Just light pink, not fault at all. Navy was just going faster than they probably thought and got into flame. Spun around. The wall, I mean, to light pink and just orange ensues. Luckily, there's only three cars involved, no one behind them. Not good for light pink. Now, light blue would have been on the badly track there for a little while here. Hard to tell who's gonna pit here. They're all kind of running low. Purple's gonna pit. Well, so then behind them gonna pit. Maroon now inherits the lead, I told you. They're gonna run towards the front now. Flame's also gonna pit. This race could be ended under a yellow. As Dream Attacker does not exist for some reason. This time. Now Purple was spaced out well in from the pack there. So they actually led that lap despite going under pit road. The fourth lap led. They're actually not gonna lead the most laps, but stops moving from leading a lap. I guess, but Navy has already clinched the most laps led. I think no one's gonna pit here. They get another lap lead. They're up to four now. This place is indeed gonna be under a yellow, which is a stupid rule that the game for some reason. At the time, to the three, they probably as long as nobody pits here. That's what your final row would be. Rune getting first. Dark Grey getting second. Sang getting third. Magenta fourth. And Black in fifth. Yellow, white, lime, navy back there. Got six points left from the laps. And then light pink running at the top ten. There's 14 cars in the lead lap. I don't know where the last one went. I only count 13. Yeah, Flame has indeed retired. They are out of the race. It happens like that sometimes. Sometimes there is a bit of racing in these tracks. Usually that requires a lot of cars to be taken out and they'll actually race. As is less cars to crash. I just think they were actually gonna do that if it wasn't for that one group of maybe catch up to flame there. They were all pretty spread out, which like nice fans for dark gray after it looks like they had some issues earlier. They're spitting out blue. Luckily did not attain much damage there. Blue on the other hand, definitely attained a lot of damage. Cyan, who started in the back, got it to a nice third place here. Venetia got fourth. Last thing get fifth. Of course all assuming nobody decided to pit in this last lap here. Yellow back in 6th, white in 7th, lime in 8th. Disappointing pins for Navy, it wasn't really much they were able to do there after they wrecked uh, Flame, and they only could gain spots people who had to pit still. Because Purple, who didn't run the right pitch strategy, was up in the front, just bad pitch strategy. That seemed like really nobody's going to pit here. Smart choice. And that means they did the last lap. And this is your finishing order with Maroon. It's gonna win Daytona. Dark Craig getting a nice second, and Cyan getting a top three. Dente and Dark Craig getting a top five. I'm gonna compare top threes as if top fives in NASCAR, given the fact that it's half amount of cars compared to actual NASCAR. Top fives compared to his top tens. That's the race. Maroon gets the first win of the season. 
No play as a rider, so it doesn't really matter for wins. They've got enough points at the end of the season to win. This is definitely a good points haul for them. Especially the little laps. Well, I mean, Kelsey has to get little laps to win. So winning basically at least gets you 23 points, and if you dominated, you're getting 26 points. 